Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I am going to show how to calculate sample size using United Nations Framework Convention for Climate Change. So here the guideline, you can easily download this guideline, how to calculate sample size. There are many techniques or many sample techniques like simple random sampling, stratified random sampling, systematic sampling, clustering sampling, multi-stage sampling. So in Defined sampling, there are different techniques for calculating sample. You can find many paper like one paper I have found. They use United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change formula. Remember that we have to select first sample technique. This is the example one for simple random sampling. Right? How you can easily calculate. Right? So before calculating the simple random sampling, First thing first, what is random sampling? It is method where each member of a people like villages, individuals or buildings has an equal chance of being included in the sample. So these approaches ensure that our results are unbiased and that we are truly representing the population. Now you might wonder why simple? is a part of the name it's because simple random sampling is well it is simple it's straightforward to implement as long as you have a complete list of the population and way to select the members randomly so we have to select the members or you have to select the samples randomly so i'll show you how you can select randomly sample size right it is also the go to the method when you have minimal information about the population before the data collection begin. But remember, it works based when the population is homogeneous. It's important when your population is homogeneous, you can use simple random technique. Meaning everyone or everything has a similar characteristics. Suppose, imagine you are looking at light bulb used across different region, right? If the light bulb have similar uses or, or we are not according to uh, for differences like climate or power supply, simple random sampling is most suitable. Now, here is something to consider the cost. While simple random sampling is conceptually economical, the actual data collection cost can be higher when the dealing with the large or spread out population. So, when is simple random sample less ideal? When the population is dispersed and lacks homogeneity, if the features we are studying very significantly across different segments, this method might overlook those nuances. For instance, studying the efficiency of biogas digester might require a different approach if the altitude and temperature widely vary as these factors can influence biogas production but don't worry there are many other sampling methods and uh, definitely we'll prepare videos in future right so let's get started how to calculate sample size for simple random sampling right this is formula i just copied this formula uh, from here this is formula and they considered z value 90 percent confidence interval right and here the result so i'll show you how we can easily calculate using this method right this is the formula first here the small m small m means the sample size you are trying to calculate and then 1.645 this is a z score or z value at 90 percent confidence interval definitely it it will be defined for 95 percent confidence interval or 99 percent confidence interval and then capital n Capital N mean here the total population size, which is in your case uh, here total population size considered six lakh forty thousand, right? Then P P is the estimated proportion of the population that has been characteristic of interest and assumed to be zero point five, that's in fifty percent here um, expected proportion zero point five zero, that's mean uh, it is fifty percent when and no prior data is available then you can consider 50% of 0.50 and e 
here this one 0 0.1 that's it's it's called e e mean here the margin of error right margin of error which is amount of error you are willing to accept in our case it is expressed as proportion of p here 10 percent relative position of p desire right 0 0.1 mean 10 percent relative position right so now i will show you how we can calculate this n that's when sample size for any population for finite population right so in excel we can easily do it first thing is that this is a sample size definitely we will consider only the rounded value for considering rounded value we have to consider the sailing c e i w -L, l i n g this is sailing c e i l i n g right just select it this selling we use it for rounding up any value right so then see the formula this is 1.645 square that's when we need power okay power and base 2 so power you have to click power the selected power power of, power of what power of 1.645 right then comma then power what power 2 close this one then multiply it see this formula multiply it n n here this value 6 lakh 40 thousand so n 6 lakh 40 thousand then again multiply it p we considered p 0 0.5 that's in 50 percent proportion again multiply it 1 minus p you can write 0 0.5 or you can use 1 minus 0 0.5 same here right so close this again then divided by divided by what divided by n minus 1 so first we have to consider n minus 1 right so n here 6 lakh 40 thousand 40 thousand minus 1 close this then multiply it again 0 0.1 square why 0 point at this way this is actually e error term okay error of margin so here we have considered 90 percent continuous interval that's why it is 0 0.1 if you consider 95 percent continuous interval then it will be 0 0.05 right so we have to consider power again because it's a square so power power what power 0 0.1 see again multiply p square p square mean again we can use directly write this way 0 0.5 or p 0 0.5 then 2 2 is the base right close this then plus plus what 1.645 so we can consider like this way 1.645 uh, power of 1.645 so we can consider first this value p so p here 0 0.5 right then multiply it 1 minus p so 1 minus 0 0.5 okay and then again multiply this value 1.645 square so we have to consider power power 1.645 six four five two two is the power close this comma ceiling of what ceiling of one that's when significant what significant one then it will convert in rounded figure okay just press enter see our result 271 okay see our formula here 270.4 if you round up this value then it will be at least 270 household it will be at least 270 household okay that's why we use here this selling right if you use selling then it will automatically calculate this value similar guideline from UNFCCC so I have calculated this value see this is a formula for 10 percent confidence interval now think if you want to calculate for your study area Suppose 
you have some city blocks and you have selected one village from each city block okay and you have the household number now how you can calculate sample size based on this technique just copy this formula and paste over there just we have to change it from here this population right we have to select this 62 then we have to select again this 62 then press ok see this is 51 everything is ok this is 51 drag it see from here 62 51 then 90 68 574 here 184 now sum of this sum we have to consider 1979 sample okay now how you can select sample randomly this is sample size how you can select suppose you have 62 household okay so first of all you have to identify this 62 household and you have to number it accordingly from 1 then 2 then the select it up to 62 this is very laborious task so you have to identify first you have to collect the data from gb level or from any office then suppose this is a thus then this is b vishwas like this way then a ali like this way you have to arrange your data like this way i have 62 then you can select randomly how you can select randomly just use rand between rand this is rand between select it and your bottom should be one then comma and highest should be 62 close this 62 now drag it again you can drag it this way also like this way okay now first consider 45 here is your 45 this one 45 you have to consider now 45 right just do one thing copy this and paste as a value only okay paste as a value because if you change it then it will change again okay so first one 45 copy it paste here then copy it paste here then arrange it we need to select 52 only okay here we have 51 data so we need to select according to this calculation 51 here are 51 but we will consider another few data okay up to here now arrange it short smallest to largest now see one then we have to consider one then two we have to consider two then five see there are two five so we have to delete one if we considered simple random sampling without replacement then you have to delete one okay so then five then delete ten 11 okay this way you have to select your sample like then then 7 right this way you have to select up to 52 sample size so thank you for watching this tutorial if you found this video helpful give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more more insightful comment have question or topics you want to ask to cover drop them in the comments below